Hey guys, Konga here, and today we are reviewing the Dreaddozer M40A2 Romfanza, uh, aka the shovel. There it is, the shovel of dread on this vehicle. This thing is a meme on PC, a bit of a meme, and now we have it here on console. Of course, it's the Hot Wheels version, aka the monster version, aka a reskin, aka. Uh, no more AKAs. So. Uh, what is it good for? I have no idea. We haven't played it yet. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is trying it out for the first time first impressions um, But also this week on Friday, we're gonna be reviewing the trailblazer, which we just got uh, tomorrow We're gonna be reviewing the little tier 9 rink a dink thing the Fangula and then ho hopefully on Monday We'll also be reviewing uh, What do they call it the Roger? No Is it the Roger Dodger? Let's just go look at the seasons real quick. It's the uh, This thing yeah, the Roger Dodger E75 TS. We are one stage away from getting that completed. And then we will have it. So that's coming up as well on Monday. So we've got four reviews in a row for you guys. But let's let's get into some first impressions here, eh? What are we going to do? Well, it's a medium tank. So I'm going to do the standard stereotypical medium setup, okay? That would be gun rammer, vertical stabilizer, optics. So that's just what I like to use on my tanks. What is this thing's V range, actually? 380 all right that's not terrible i mean for a patent turret you would expect it to be at least 400 but that's okay what kind of crew do we want to throw in here um well this one i don't care for it's not special it's just a weird skin get out of here i have so many german crews germany i'm doing perfectly fine with um i don't think we're gonna need camouflage so let's put our heavy tank crew in here i think it's gonna perform more like a heavy uh, with Armor that works sometimes, and armor that works not other times. And let's see the packages: 205 pen, 255 premium, and it's APCR. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take the 13 they give as default. There we go. What do we want here? Small. We're gonna put large. I hate getting artied and large. There we go. There we go. And there it is. The Rompenza. Let's uh, take a look at its gun depression before we delve deeper and such. 13 power to 8, 40 top speed, pretty slow. 9 degrees of gun depression. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, terrain resistances. Bad turret rotation speed. Bad hull rotation speed and turret rotation speed. So it's, it's going to be more like a heavy. Um, how much health does it have? Over on the right, we see it has 1400. And the ammunition, 972. Um, meters per second and 1117 so not very fast shells either but let's see how we do I feel like the commander might die a lot in this thing and the armor what is the turret it's the patent turret nice it's the buff patent turret but without but with the cupola on top all right that's cool that's good let's get into this then as long as people aren't hitting us in the cupola we should be good I think this tank might be a powerhouse at top tier might be I'm not sure but it could be Fisherman's Bay. Uh, of course you're tier 8. So don't forget that. And we all know what tier 8 means. And if you don't know what that means, you probably haven't been playing the game. It means uh, you're going to be bottom tier like 80% of the time. Because tier 10 matchmaking. Plus 2, ladies and gentlemen. Plus 2. But let's see. Come on. Uh, for the last couple of reviews in a row, we've been having really good matchmaking. Which is nice, but also bad at the same time. Because you kind of want to show what the tank is good at and bad at. Right? In a review. But when they give you good matchmaking... Uh, you, you tend to lie to your viewers because like hey look I'm doing really well with this tank. Uh, that's not true. Yeah, you are doing well But it's not actually that great now this uh, shovel. I think is 40 millimeters. We should have checked that But it's spaced armor So heat is actually gonna have a difficult time going through you so all those heat spammers and all these new light tanks the uh, like the uh, trailblazer and such are gonna struggle so that's nice Yeah, look at admire my tank admire and weep <laughs> so anyway, I want to thank Random Gamer for gifting me this tank. Uh, he he sent it over yesterday. It's a great gift. Um, there's multiple ways you can support the channel. You know, just by watching, just by subscribing, commenting, liking, whatever you want to do. Um, then there's obviously donating or giving tanks. And him giving this tank is actually a huge help because we can make a video like this. And that will actually uh, net us a bit of revenue, which will go straight towards my book. So thank you very much. Uh, random for supporting the book. That's what you've done by uh, 
by giving me this tank. So I definitely want to thank you. Very much so. This guy I don't think can even touch us. Unless he has this in the cupola. So we're willing to sit there. Already shooting us in the front might not be as big of a deal because of the shovel. As long as he's not hitting us in the hull. Like if he's splashing in front of us, we can probably take a beating with this thing. Hmm. They have shots on me from there. Let's move on then. Let us move on. We chase. It is time to chase. What is this guy doing? He saw an opportunity to die and he's taking it. Well done, sir. 300 alpha there. There's the already bot. And juked him. Who's he platoon with? The Gory Nietzsche. Live and learn, eh? I'm excited to take a few hits in this tank for sure, just to see if the shovel works. I know on PC, I was watching uh, Awesome Epic Guys play this tank, and the shovel was working. And then it wasn't working. And then it was working. And then it wasn't working. So, I think that's going to be the case here. It's kind of like the Super Pershing, probably. Where some days the armor works, other days it doesn't. And that's it working. And that's it working again. Alright, we have to go wide then, so we can fight these guys both from the same angle. This guy's aiming at him, we gotta respawn him. This is going to be a tougher fight, I think. If he can shoot my cupola, we lose. Or he can turn around. Which case means we can help by shooting this Black Prince first. Another Gory Nietzsche. Hmm. We have an M6 of support. Not exactly uh, a powerful tank to have as support. Let's do some premium rounds for this engagement here. Here goes our meal. There's a shovel working. Oh, I'm nuts! Oh, I already know! You scum! You absolute scum! Ah! Oh. Good to know I just got outskilled there. Totally outskilled. I love how he chose to shoot me too, instead of shooting the light tank. It was clearly around him. Golly! Absolute scumbag. Ah, I hate arty players. I really do. Well, we win anyway. 
Of course, uh, we could have had a much better game there. In fact, probably could have pulled off an ace if we didn't get, uh, you know, outskilled there. Yeah, that was a first class. This would have easily been an ace if we uh, killed the STG. And then we would have gone after the Gorinich and likely been able to farm him. Because he wasn't the brightest bulb in that game. Which means his equalizer friend was probably a bit dumber. Which is how it works. The Artie's always uh, worse. So, yeah, anyway. There's uh, one game. Not too bad. I'll definitely take that game. Uh, do we get any points for that? There's one point. And that's it. One point! I think we're one more point away from um, from the E75. TS. Roger Dodger. Roger Dodger. So, that's pretty exciting. Castrine. Corner to corner. 1200 by 1200 map. Yay, everybody's favorite. Console exclusive. No already cover. Good stuff. This is what we're all here for. This is why we play tanks. For sure. That's why I play World of Tanks. I don't know about you. I log in, I'm like, oh boy. Whew. Oh, I just can't wait. Oh, just big open maps are getting artied. Very exciting. That's pretty much one of the only reasons I actually play this game. Is to get artied. So. So that's cool. <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting how, you know, Wargaming realizes just how unfun the game is for everybody who's getting artied, minus the people who are playing the arty. And as you can see, one out of 15 players in this game are artillery. So more than 90% of the player base is suffering. <laughs> uh, you know? But uh, I guess it is what it is. We're going to go through the middle because I really want to try out the armor again because the armor worked last game. It's 152 on the front. Very, very, very front. Angled back nicely on the areas that are weaker. But it also has this 40 millimeter shield. That's very well spaced, too. It's not directly against the hull. It's it's nicely spaced. So I really want to try it. Because the Bog Horror is going to suffer. The Gorinish is going to suffer. The KV-4 might be able to go through. The Bellifron might be able to go through. The Scent might be able to go through. The SCG shouldn't. The Prototype probably will. So a few tanks here that will. A few tanks here that won't. So let's definitely uh, try it out. And plus it's Burt, so I'm not as worried about him. The famous us words. Famous list words. Let's stay right here. We have like a mobile, mobile hull down location right now. And I just really want to try the armor. Alright, we're going to go after this scent then. Yeah, straight through. Like nothing. Ah, yeah, straight through again. I don't think you have the gun to go through me, though. He might. There you go. Prototype does. Let's not get shot by him. Instead, we'll drive up here and shoot the this guy. That was Bert, I think. It is Bert. There he is. Look at this guy. It's really Bert. Yeah. Artie can half aim at you and hit you and do a thousand damage. You can fully aim on Artie and you'll miss. Such is World of Tanks RNG. Giving all the fun to the Artie bots. Oh, we hit that. How interesting. Yeah, you can ping me. I couldn't push because of all these guys.
it's quite the interesting predicament we've found ourselves in. Ah, oh, too slippery. All right, we'll jump into another game. Actually, before I do, um, you know, move on to the next game, I do want to mention one fact or one thing, and that is again, my game was ruined by artillery because. Uh, my plan was to go here and push it and shoot these guys in the side who are pushing through the middle by going to this position, which is already safe, except for the fact that already went to the one position where he would be able to shoot only me <laughs> in the back, mind you. And every six seconds, he'd be doing 400 damage to the back of my tank. So I was forced to leave that location. And that is what put me in a crossfire with all these people. And if I pushed in away from Artie, I would have been getting shot by the T-28 prototype, the Gory Nietzsche, the KV-4, and anyone else who was there. So my only hope was to push into the crossfire and hope I survived the engagement, which, of course, I didn't. So unfortunately, again, artillery ruining somebody trying to play the game differently. Instead of, you know, playing like, uh, like this stereotypical drone. Alright, we lost that one. Um, no, we did not actually make 230,000. It was because we had this Monster Hunter 2 that we finished. That gave us 150,000. So, yeah. Um, no respect for artillery players. None from the clone guy. None at all. I, I get messaged by them all the time and in Discord and all this other stuff. They explain, like, oh, well, I'm just doing it because, or I'm just doing it to help, or I'm just doing. Nah, no, no, no. If you're playing already, no respect. Hands down. There's no excuses. Like, these are the same people who complain about Arnie, and now the, then they're playing artillery. I literally sold every artillery unit from my garage. So, anyway. Now on Prokhorovka, perfect place to get Arnie'd. Fantastic. Let's have a game now where uh, Arnie ruins our fun again, shall we? I think uh, I think if we try to get Arnie to ruin our fun, I think we might have a little bit more fun. Let's get out there and see how many times we can get Arnie'd. I think is the plan here. To Arnie. Oh, nice. Perfection. That's exactly what we're looking for. Two artillery. Hmm. We're on the wrong side of the map. To to be able to push up here. Like, you can only go this far from this side. Oh, well, we're doing it anyway. We're doing it anyway! Let's go. Shovel! Maybe I can, like, dig underneath the enemy. I'm like, here I come, boys. Excavating. Wonder what this tank is gonna do in the mode. The monster mode. I'm gonna guess it has something to do with bringing things back to life. Back from the dead. They, they've they been experimenting with bots a lot, so I bet you maybe you can bring back some of the Revenant Crafts Panthers along the map. That would kind of be cool to, like, fight for you. Maybe. Or Spectres. Who knows? I don't. I don't know. Uh, they have a Fengula, which we'll be reviewing tomorrow. It's just an inferior conqueror, is pretty much what it is, but we'll be reviewing it anyway. And letting you know if it's worth the buy. And right now I can tell you it's not. The reason being is because it is an inferior conqueror. The conqueror is better, better gun handling, get better penetration, has APCRS premium, better turret armor, better gun depression, uh, same exact mobility, better quote unquote hull armor, or slower play. Uh. But there's no reason. Oh, and much better DPM on the Conqueror. There's no better, no reason to spend lots and lots of money on a tier 9 that you can just get for free. Right? Anywho, we're going to send it here ish. This is the new HD version, so this bush should work. Should. The issue is they have a T-95 somewhere, who seems to be on the rails, as he's just killed someone. Alright, this guy wants to be brave, we'll let him be brave. He's, he's sending it. What is their t other TD? An Ikea. He seems to be spotted if he's stopping here. Which makes me think it's an Ikea looking at him. So we'll go far right. And get into the uh, the river. Turn our gun to the left. Yeah, there he is. And there's freedom here. We'll take a hit from him because we got to keep going and get into cover. Yeah. We might take two. No, we're not going to take two. 
but we've made it. And that's all that matters. And now the slow climb. These are faster than the uh, the freedom. We got another premium for this engagement. It's a bog horror and a freedom. This is all soft terrain apparently because I can't even turn. Gotta pause my music so I can hear. This should be an engagement we win because his gun is terrible. Should. And the Bellafron is coming. And this guy dropped too. Oh, yes. Brilliant. That's exactly what we needed. Bellafron has a high ground, which is perfect for his tank. We get pen there by the by the bot, unfortunately. There we go. He keeps staring at me. I didn't bring a friend. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Field tank. The assort asserted yard, eh? And the fire. Hello, Conqueror. Where? What? Why are you here? <laughs> Good to have a tier ten or a t top tier heavy tank doing nothing. <laughs> Good to have him. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what he's been doing this game. He's just now shown up five minutes into the game. He let me and the Bell and Fraud do all the work, and then he misses his shot on the Freedom. <laughs> Great to have him. Top tiers. Plus two. He's a, he's a good player to have. Let's get going. We've got a good wall on the on the ridge. So I think we can win this. We just have to get here quickly. And the Conqueror here might actually help. But if we have, if the Conqueror was on the ridge, though, the game would already be over. Because there's no way they're going to push, push through the Conqueror. Which means me and this uh, Bellarfron can just farm from, from behind. Unfortunately, once they start getting shot from, from behind, they might realize they have the overmatch on the ridge and just push the ridge. He misses his shot, too, on the, uh, on the Black Prince. Bellarfron doesn't, though. Thank goodness for you, sir. Just barely fast enough. Yeah, I bounced. You know, it happens all the time. You're a light tank. Another fighter. I will take it. That's not good. I did not want to take that hit. Because of the T95. But we're still alive. Now it's time to push. And he's on fire. This could be an ace. I doubt it. But it most certainly could be. That assist will help. Come on, Belmafron. Oh, my Belmafron is dead. That makes me a bit sad. There we go. Kill the kill the higher tier scum. Kill the kill the pig. Kill the pig. Get out of here, bot! Get! There we go. So you, so the first game, our armor worked really well. And then that game, did, it didn't work. 
and we were fighting uh, even the uh, what is it this thing he penned us just with an RBRT so I mean there you go I mean sure we bounced 1375 like that's not surprising oh yeah there it is the bulldozer oh sorry the dread dozer <laughs> uh, it's gotta be good Ah, uh, there we go. Now we got it. It's gonna be good versus the, uh, the top, the bottom. When it's top tier, it's gonna be good. Uh, when it's bottom tier, it's gonna be terrible. I can guarantee you that the gun isn't very good. You're gonna have to load up that those premium shells, and you're not fast. Your armor won't mean anything. Um, uh, but you know what? If you're fighting tier ten mediums or shooting heat, I bet you this this bulldozer does does protect you somewhat, right? Thanks for giving me all the ops I've used. It's very cool. I thought they fixed that, but oh well, I guess they didn't. Thanks, Wargaming. Thanks, Wargaming, for adding that back as a feature. To get spammed by all the ops. It's great. It's great. Alright, that's going to be it. Thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think this is going to do in the monster mode. Um, and let me know what you think of it if you haven't. Look at that. There's the Tiger Shark. So we did finish uh, We did finish the, the thing just now. The season pass. So we've got three more tanks to review after this one. Uh, and starting, well, starting today, tomorrow, is number two, so there we go. But yeah, if you have one of these, let us know in your comments, let us know what your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be seeing you guys all later. Take care, everyone, and peace out.